Drona Aviation are an Indian-based company who've just launched a new crowdfund project. They've released a product called Pluto X, which essentially is a drone development platform. Basically, if you can code it, this thing can do it. Let's take a closer look. Now, this is a novel idea, and I like that in this drone industry. We're all a bit bored of camera drones. Okay, just a little bit bored. But it's nice to see something a bit different, and that's what Droner Aviation have brought here with the Pluto X. So basically, when you order this, you get this package. And I believe that this is called the Tinkerer's Bundle, which is basically uh, one of three different options you can order when you look at buying this set. Each type of kit has a different number of experiments that you can perform with the drone. I believe this one's got four, um, but you can also, of course, amend those and customize them accordingly. So this is an Indiegogo crowdfunded campaign. I know that crowdfund can be risky, but that's a good thing about a review like this. It's going to show you exactly what you get, or at least what you should get. Now, it's not cheap. The prices range between $150 to $229, depending on which kit you buy. But with 15 days left on the campaign, they have already raised $20,000 dollars via 90 different backers not bad but they're hoping for more and hopefully this review will show you what you get out of this kit so it's scheduled to deliver in january 2019 it's available in two different colors black or red and it isn't just a camera platform so you get this which is basically your baseline kit it's a 3D printed frame with four little brushed motors here, some prop guards built into it as well, and then inside this is their core custom flight controller. And this contains a number of different elements, including uh, the sensing board. So there's a load of sensors on here as you'd expect, barometers and gyros and accelerometers and magnetometers, etc., as well as inputs for motors which are also reversible as well. So lots of different options here as it, it is a development platform, so lots of ins and outs. Underneath is the battery that ships with it as well, and that is actually a Tattoo, which is a great brand battery. Impressed to see that it ships with that, because these aren't cheap either. But that's a 1S 600 milliamp battery, and that's gonna give about a 10 minute flight time with this tiny little lightweight quad. You don't even need to actually remove the battery to charge it. There is a USB port on this flight controller, as you'd expect to see, but this doubles as a charger. So plug a USB power supply into that port there, and it will charge up this 600 milliamp battery in about 45 minutes. So that's a nice little feature. Now don't expect to get a transmitter in this box because this is an entirely app controlled drone. But once you venture inside the box, you get some interesting little boxes that look like this. Uh, there's also some stickers in there as well for the brand. Um, so what have we got here? Well, we've got our experiments that we get as part of this kit. So we've got a camera, we've got a hybrid, not sure what that is, spares and table tennis. So let's have a look at these one by one. We'll start with camera and see what we get. I'm quite <laughs> it's quite nice to unbox something different because I just don't know what to expect here. It's quite exciting in a way. So these are basically the modules that we can use to bolt onto this drone. Now remember, this isn't just a drone, it's a programming platform. And therefore, all of these bolt-ons that we get, we can attach to the IO ports on this flight controller, and then it's all controlled via API or the SDK, the, the development kit as well. So you can actually write code for this drone quite easily. So in other words, if you can write it, this will fly it. So looking at this little camera module, we've got a tiny little camera there on the front. This piece feels, in fact, yeah, it is 3D printed as well. There's a tiny little antenna on here as well and a little accessory port. There's also an SD card slot on the back. This is very similar to the little Wi-Fi camera module you get with micro drone from Extreme Flyers. With this little cable here, you plug that, I guess, into the accessory port, which is on the front of this little drone here. So rather than just flying the drone blind, adding this little module will give you some vision but it doesn't stop there. Next we'll have a look at this hybrid box. I really haven't got a clue what this could be but we'll soon find out. So in here we have... So this interestingly are two little wheels I think attached to little brushed motors. So what that's going to allow you to do I guess 
is looks like these clip onto the bottom of the drone here. Gotta be very careful, these very fragile little wires. Uh, like that, and like this. <laughs> And then basically our drone has undercarriage, so it can now slide along. <laughs> so of course this is again a programmable platform, so you, you plug the wires for these into these ports on the flight controller, and then I'm assuming you assign them, and then you can basically steer your drone and drive it whilst you're on the floor. So an interesting idea, but again, these are all 3D printed, so probably fairly fragile. So be very, very careful when you're removing and fitting these little parts. So anyone up for table tennis? Well, I guess we're gonna have to be. Let's see what's in this little box. Feels a little bit like Christmas, this. <laughs> so in the table tennis module, we have... So this tiny little module actually has two IR sensors, infrared sensors on either side. The concept here, I guess, is that you plug it in to the top of the drone here, like that, and that now gives our little drone obstacle avoidance, basically, um, so that when it's hovering and flying, you'll be able to put your hand up to one side of the drone and it's gonna actually move out of the way. So that's an interesting idea, another interesting module available for it. And finally, the spares box. So let's see what's in here. And we've just got various uh, little bits. We've got spare propellers. We've got some spare motors. Uh, we've got a rookie pilot badge from Droner Aviation. Thanks for that. And then finally, there's a little PCB here. And that must be to build your own add-ons. It's got the same centralized port there. So I guess you slot that on top and then you can actually solder your own bits on here that you can access via the API and the SDK. So that's what you get in the box. I think it's time to just quickly power this up and have a quick look at it. Okay, so there's a little power switch on the side, so we'll flick that, and you can see the flight controller jumps into life and starts flashing. So with the drone all fired up, we've got the app as well, which comes with it. And via this app, essentially, you program the flight controller. We've got loads of options in here under drone settings. You've got magnet magnetometer configuration and even pi different pilots that you can configure on here. Um, control settings, lots of different ways to control the drone. Um, we've got the actual drone configuration here as well. You can even set the PIDs, etc. We can test the motors as well. So if you're used to configuring a drone via Betaflight, etc., this will be very familiar to you, I'd imagine. But there are lots of other settings in here as well. And of course, you've got the virtual on-screen joysticks from which you can actually control the drone. Now, I haven't got time to get this in the air right now for the review, but I have briefly flown this in my lounge. And I must say, it flies very smoothly. It's got plenty of power, actually, because it weighs virtually nothing. Uh, but in terms of the app as well, that works really well, and it's a nice way to control the drone. It's nice and responsive. But my problem here is the price. Now, you're paying upwards of about $200 for this. It's just too much. I mean, essentially, this is a very lightweight, basic 3D printed frame that anybody could print with a flight controller on top. Now, yes, they do have the API and the SDK, which is really gonna to appeal to those of you that like to program things. But ultimately, all of these little electronic modules that you can also get with it, or are included with some of the bundles, they're just not really worth the money. And I'm very sorry, Droner Aviation. I like what you're trying to do here, but this is $100, realistically, it's not 150 or 200 plus. So if it was cheaper, it might be interesting to more people, but at that price point, it's just not worth it. So comment below with your thoughts, give this video a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you guys if you're interested in this kind of drone. What do you think about the price? What do you think about what's bundled with it? Take a look at the crowdfund page, it's in the video description, and we look forward to your feedback. <laughs>